There's a little junior blue tongue lizard. Just tiny. Well, not that tiny, but tiny enough. It's only tiny. Well, it is small. It's a little junior one. It's breathing, I hope. I think it's breathing. Yes, it's breathing. I can't get really close to it without spooking it. Because they usually bolt when you get up close to them when they're that size. And you try and get close to them. I don't pick them up because they can be damaged. Apparently, so I read at the uh, Australian Museum website or something. Something like that I went to. I'm not supposed to pick them up. And how to camera work anyway. Let's have a little look at you. I'm about six inches away, aren't I? The lens, I mean. You're a nervous little thing in your own way. You're looking at me with caution, even though you aren't looking at me. Where's my finger? Where's my finger? There's a lizard. I think it was having a little sunbath after the rain. I've seen the snakes swallow ones like that. Just small ones. Well, you get around, you be careful of snakes, won't you? And foxes and whatever else, kookaburras, whatever else might eat you. You've got your little heart beating. You've got your little heart beating. You've got a heart, haven't you? You have. And lungs and everything. Your little respiratory system and your cardiovascular system. There's your tail. There's a view from the front. There's a little front view for people who like blue tongue lizards. Are they skinks? I think they're members of the skink family, aren't they? There's your beautiful little face. Aren't you lovely in your own way? Oops. Aren't you lovely? You're having a little sun bath, aren't you? You're basking. You've got your beautiful little hands. Aren't they lovely? You've got your lovely little hands. Aren't they gorgeous? I'll leave you alone now. You want to be left alone. You're recoiling, aren't you? You want to be left alone. I'll leave you alone to have a sun bath on your own. You enjoy the day, little one.